Okay, I am headed to the gym to do some fasted cardio. It is Thursday, April 12th. I think I'm going to do a full day of eating for you guys, assuming I don't forget any meals. Um, I actually have off today, so it would be a perfect day for it. Um, I haven't, like I said, fasted cardio, so I haven't eaten anything. I do. The only time I really suggest that you really need BCAs is a time like fasted cardio. So I have first form lemonade BCAs. And since I'm not training today, I have my creatine in there. Usually I do creatine in my intra workout, which is BCAs because they're delicious. But anyway, creatine, BCAs, fasted cardio. It's later than I wanted to get there. It is 11.30 and I'll get there in like 10 minutes. Um, so I have free right now. I'm tired. I'll talk about prep feels later or when I'm like fed and not brain dead because I'm usually brain dead before I eat. So here we go. Go do one half hour of steady state fasted cardio. I'm going to go to Planet Fitness even though I don't like that gym, but they have a Stairmaster. And the closest Stairmaster to me besides Planet Fitness is like 25 minutes away. So Planet Fitness it is. Okay, I just got back from the gym. I am going to do meal one now, which is going to be a packet of oat fit with a Drew Daily Square, and then I'm gonna do egg whites and some cheese. This isn't low fat or anything, it's full fat. It's my favorite, it's the Mexican four cheese. So I'm gonna cook it now, I'll show you guys when it's done. I literally just put the square right in the center of the oatmeal, eat around it, and then by the time I get to it, it's super melty and it's delicious and egg whites with cheese. I don't really put anything on these except salt, but. You can see how it's all melted. Like Next meal is gonna be, I don't know if you can see it. So, again, I eat extremely repetitively, so you've probably seen most of this before. This is a lean burger. This is zucchini lentil pasta and broccoli. So, if you haven't seen the zucchini lentil pasta, definitely go get it. This is the package of it. I just have one serving, and one serving is five fat, 18 carb, and 10 protein. So, definitely go pick it up. The first time I tried it, I expected it to taste just like mac and cheese, so I was really disappointed, and I didn't like it. But the second time I ate it, I went in it like with an open mind of this is just gonna be good. It's not gonna be just like mac and cheese, and I liked it a lot more, so. I'm gonna eat this. I am recording a video today that I've been like really trying to put a lot into and it's gonna be just like a beginner's guide to if it fits your macros and flexible dieting. So if, I don't know which one's gonna go up first, so either it's already up and go look at it or wait for it, so. I don't know which one that's gonna be. Um, I do use low sugar ketchup and I can't believe it's not butter. I don't track either of these. If I'm ever going to use more than one serving in a day of this, I will track it. But if I'm just gonna use one serving, which is usually what I do on the burger, then I don't track it. So I'm gonna enjoy this and get started with my day. Next meal of the day is going to be two Greek yogurts and a Power Crunch bar. I'm starting to use cured spices. So this is CBD. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Very simply put, CBD is a cannabinoid that is non-psychoactive, has a ton of benefits such as anxiety relief, inflammation, or help with inflammation, and a ton of other stuff, but those are the two main reasons I'm taking it. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of this into one of my Greek yogurts. So that'll be meal number two. I eat this meal pretty much every single day of my life. Two Greek yogurts, one Power Crunch bar. So it's actually one of my favorite things that I look forward to every single day and I am excited to eat it. My fourth meal is going to be, well usually my fourth meal would be my post-workout shake, which is just Formula One and Ignition, but since I'm not training today, I'm not gonna have it. So I replace it with something that is just protein and carbs and low in fat. So I'm gonna do two Laughing Cow cheeses. I mix these two and it's the best combo ever. I will put that on three rice cakes and then top it with just some deli turkey. So it's actually something I really, really enjoy and it's really simple. It's super low in fat, so all I do is at the end of the day, I have peanut butter. I'll just lower the amount of peanut butter I have by a little bit to make up for the extra fats I'm having without having the protein shake, so.
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually taking that meal to go because I have to go food shopping and meal prep because I work all weekend. I've done a bunch of grocery hauls, so I probably won't show you exactly what I get. But I try, if I know I have work for the next couple days, like I do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I try to have meals for all three days so I don't even have to think about what I'm gonna eat while I'm at work. That's when you get in trouble and you're like, oh, that looks like a really good dessert. No, stay prepped, be ready to go, and that's how you diet successfully while working in a restaurant, but. That's it. Okay, I just took all my makeup off. But last meal of the day is going to be chicken, which I have cooking right now. I'm gonna throw these back on the stove. It's just mushrooms and onions that I had made. And I already ate it while I was waiting because I got hungry. The four cheese mashed potatoes. These things are great. They're only 30 carbs for the whole thing, so definitely suggest buying them. And then I'm gonna finish my night off with 10 grams of peanut butter, and that is everything. So, yeah, that's what I eat in a day. Like I said, the only thing that would be different if it was a training day is instead of the rice cakes with laughing cow cheeses and turkey, I would have done the Formula One and Ignition Shake instead. But other than that, this is pretty much what I eat all the time. I should be probably getting a macro adjustment soon, so I will record another one when that happens and I go down to a little bit lower carb. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys either in the next video or in the next clip. Okay, prep updates. A couple days later now. That was Thursday, and now it is. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So I checked in with Paul that next day, and my weight was actually up. So I was up to 132. And not that the scale's everything, like I've said before, but I do need to be seeing my weight go down. And it's not. So. We are kicking it into high gear. We are rearranging to have five low days. So my low days are down to 120 carb, 50 fat, 150 protein, and my high days are 200 carb, 40 fat, 130 protein. So hopefully this gets the ball rolling because we really kind of do need to start seeing some progress to be ready in time. But um, I weighed myself this morning and I was actually down to 130.2, so I'm hoping that that was just a fluctuation and that we are actually seeing it go down. So I'll let you know how this week's check-in goes, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't getting a little nervous, a little anxious, but I'm trying to just trust the process. And if things don't go my way, we can always reevaluate. We can always make a different plan. So just trying to keep my head above water. This week is the first week I've had like really solid like prep feels like my cardio is really hard. I don't want to lift. I'm like, and I think it's because of that bad check-in. It just kind of has my mood in a bad place, which makes prep feel harder. We're still getting through it. I've done all my cardio. I've given my lifts everything still, but we'll see. So I never know how to end videos. I'll see you guys next, <laughs> next week. <laughs>